Mm, mm, mm. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to yeah, a quick quick live with your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock. Told y'all I was going live every day. I'm doing one-on-ones tonight, but I got 30 minutes right now. So I'm going to be live for the next about 30 minutes before this next one-on-one starts. So y'all want to chat? Show me what's going on. How you doing? Rad, Dehan, what's going on, y'all? So I got about thirty minutes between these next this next uh, Zoom thing, y'all. So I'm just chilling. <clears throat> we wash you. What's going on? How you doing? What's up, everybody? What's going on, Angel? How you doing? Hope you doing doing well. Jala, hey, what's going on, y'all? Amanda, what's going on? How you doing? Christina, what's up? Kanye and Kim, I saw that, y'all. I need to break down that. I seen some. Uh, I saw some very recent things going on between them. Uh, like the, I guess the the messages they've been sending back and forth. So I saw that. So yeah, I might might start to talk about that. I'm a therapist. I don't love you though. Thank you, Drew. Thank you, Mr. Drew. What's that face is for, Angel? Oh, those are smiles. I can't really. I got my glasses on. Am I feeling better? Yeah, I'm feeling better. I think I'm in the, the tail end of uh oh COVID, COVID nineteen, y'all. Learned so much from you. Ba ba ba. Appreciate it, y'all. Dude, I haven't responded to him. In a month. Oh, who's my wait? I don't know if this is the same person. Hold on. Ba, ba, ba. Haven't responded to him in a month. That's good. Don't don't respond to that person, y'all. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Do 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 North on TikTok, like that's power and control, right? North on TikTok? What's oh oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. It is control. It's a control. You said north. He's talking about uh, Kanye West's daughter or daughter North. I'll cancel it. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, sorry. Sorry, y'all. I'm sending a message. Feel better. Boom. There you go. My ex is literally in progress right now. In progress of doing what right now? Your ex is in progress of doing what exactly? Left him a week ago after getting into therapy. Only made it worse. Like you said, I told y'all. Y'all be. I, told, I, mean, I understand a lot of people. You want to make sure it's the right decision that you're making when you walk when you walk away when you leave and things like that. When you, you want to make sure like all bases have been covered, all t, all T's have been crossed, all I's have been dotted. So you want to make sure that I understand. You have this this blockbuster video shirt. Well, I'll one up you. I worked at Blockbuster for a long time. <clears throat> I met my oldest son's mom at Blockbuster, so that's why y'all shouldn't mess with coworkers. You end up with coworkers like you end up with people like me. I worked at Blockbuster Video for I forgot how long I worked there. How can you tell if an ex is a narc versus very just very confused? How do you feel? Yeah, how do you feel? Are their behaviors narcissistic? You know, you don't have to diagnose them. You can just describe their behaviors. You're not diagnosing them. You're just describing their behaviors. You worked at Blockbuster too. I was an assistant store manager, and I and I, I used to love Blockbuster because there was like a liquor store right behind Blockbuster. We used to I used to run back to the liquor store right when it was about to close and get sauced. <coughs> Thank you for sharing. You're helping me clear up confusion behavior. There you go. Valentine's Day coming up. Narcs are either manic or bread crummy right now. Yeah, watch out for the Valentine's Day Hoovers, y'all. Because a narcissist will 100% hoover you around Valentine's Day. You know what I mean? But when Valentine's Day pops up, they'll hoover you back in, try to suck you back into the relationship. What do you do when your ex-narcissist has cancer? You can pray for him. I mean, what can you do? Are you, are you a medical doctor? You got some medicine? Are you going to give him some chemo? You can pray for him. Are you going to go be, be there for You going to try to be there for him through thick and thin so they can treat you terribly? You know what I mean? Yeah, Valentine's Day. Y'all about to watch out. They show up to your door with some roses that they, you know, some roses they freshly picked from somebody else's yard or some, you know, a handful of weeds. <clears throat> I don't know what to do. Read my comment above. I can't, I can't scroll back up. <laughs> There's this a lot of comments. It'd be hard for me to scroll back up and find your comment. Are you in a healthy relationship? I'm married. They don't change on a deathbed even. Now, on my, on my way out, I'm, on my, I, if, if you're my enemy on the way out, on my way out, you're going to be my enemy on the way out. I'm going to say, bam. On the way out, I'm like to hell with you. Make sure I give you one last hurt, hurt your feelings one last time. You know what I mean? <laughs> you can pray for them. Yeah, I wrote too much. You got, you got to copy it. <clears throat> you got to copy it and send it. You got, <clears throat> you got to copy it. Did somebody log in here? 
how are you how are you okay with being a narcissist how are you i'm i'm 100 fine with being a narcissist y'all so many of y'all will be bothered to be a narcissist so many people ask that question am i the narcissist because y'all think narcissism it has to be evil. Yeah, you, you think you associate narcissism with being a terrible, toxic person. I don't associate it with that. I associate it with being just, you know, I'm, I have a personality disorder. It's a mental health thing. I'm working on it. You mean? Why do narcissists like to fight? Some people are just violent. They like to take, take their rage out. Mm -mm -mm. What is the best way to handle a narcissist when they shut down on you or act arrogant because they have something else going on? Don't I mean when they shut down, you shut down. I'm not don't I feel like y'all if you uh, if a narcissist shuts down on you, don't talk to a brick wall. Y'all be just right to talking you might as well go talk to the wall. This is like this is what you look like talking to a narcissist when they when they shut down on you. Hey look, I'm trying to convey my feelings to you. You need to listen to me. Why are you not listening? Can you not talk to me? Hey, talk. Uh answer you like you do my feelings not matter to you? Do they not matter to you at all? Do I not matter? You don't love me? That's how, that's how you look. That's how it is when you're talking to a narcissist. Uh, when you talk to a narcissist that's not listening, you might, as well, you might as well just do just like I did in this now. Turn or spin around in your chair. Talk to the wall. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Lee, can you describe what, what crossing boundaries look like in co-parenting? I blocked my ex's number, and his defense is, it's not like I text you, how are you? What if I need to get in contact with you? I mean, that's crossing, that's a, that's a boundary of yours. Use a parenting app. You know what I mean? You can use a parenting app or just open the emails. I like to say, funnel it to one form of communication anyway. They don't need to have nine, they don't need to have nine, um, they don't need to have nine ways to communicate with you. They shouldn't be Snapchatting you, texting you, Facebooking you, WhatsApping you, um, TikTok and you, Instagram and you. They shouldn't be doing all of that stuff. They shouldn't be tweeting you. There's, there's too many forms of communication, y'all. Can I message you every time I comment? And you, see, I didn't, it didn't get skipped right there. <laughs> you could have put it right there. <clears throat> Who won the first badge? Appreciate it. Haley Delvin Digital. Appreciate it. Appreciate the, the badge. <coughs> Can't stand how my narc ex brags about the copycat he is doing. Yikes. Is jealousy a symptom? Yeah, envy, jealousy, yeah. Explain no contact. It's no contact is shutting off all contact to that person if possible. Like if you don't have kids, if you have no if you don't share bills, if you have no other reason to contact that person, you don't. You just don't. Like literally. You know, appreciate that, Haley. Thank you so much. Um, you don't talk to them. No contact works. No, and no contact works for you. It's not for the narcissist. It's not to punish the narcissist. It's to give you a chance to heal. It just is. You can't heal when you're talking to them. You know what I mean? I finally accepted that my boyfriend of seven years is a narcissist and I can't love him into being better. I've gone no contact and now I just find out I'm pregnant. Oh my goodness. No. How, how far along are you? I always ask that question. Because <laughs> now you have to do the decision to make now because like I'm... So I am pro do you, you know what I mean? I'm pro, I'm, no, your body, your choice. I'm not, I'm not a woman. I don't dictate what you do with your body. I'm just saying a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people in this situation. They just like, well, I'm four weeks pregnant. Is either, you know, go through this pregnancy and spend the rest of my life dealing with this toxic ass person who's going to tear my self-esteem apart if I allow them, who's going to make co-parenting hell for me for the rest of my existence or, or. Or, or, is it is it narcissistic taking the easy way out? I mean, I'm not 100% sure what you mean. Why does narcissists discard you after being pregnant? Because they feel like they have you trapped. Now, now the, the work is done. You mean, what, 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 if y'all ever seen the Avengers when, when Thanos said, the work is done. And it'll always be done. That's what the work is done. They get you pregnant now. Now they're going to be be a part of your life for the rest of your life. This is not a, just the eight people. Just like, oh my goodness, just eighteen years of raising this baby with this person. Nope, you, eight, eighteen years is not it. This is the rest of your life, Regina. Appreciate the uh, the badge. This is the rest of your life. The rest of your existence. This is not just eighteen years. This is the rest of your life. 
You got to deal with this person for the rest of your life. This is not 18 years of just like soon soon they graduate and throw the, throw the hat. You know, it's not throw. It's not you know when they they turn the cap in the tassel and they throw the hat into the crowd. That's not the end right there. Because that child is going to yeah, that child is going to grow up, have kids of their own, get married. You're going to be have the co grandparent with this mother. Yeah, you have to, imagine co grandparenting with a narcissist. You know your grandma used to be a whore back in the day, right? That's why we ain't together. That's why I wanted to have found me a new girl. You know, stay, your your grandmother in law, my my new wife, my new boo. She good. Your grandma though was old loose booty back in the day. That's why we ain't together. That's why we ain't together. Imagine telling your grandkids that about you. <clears throat> y'all know. <laughs> I know grandma was loose back in the day. Y'all keep thinking, y'all keep thinking she all nice and sweet now and bake your pies and cakes and stuff, but she used to get her cheeks clapped all the time. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They'll be telling your grandkids that sitting, come here, come here, grandbaby, sit on my lap real quick. Let me tell you about how, let me tell you about how, how your grandma used to cheat on me. Why is it so hard to be to simply be loving and caring? Why is it so easy to be loving and caring? <laughs> Why do I see this coming out of his mouth? Because it probably will. I'm telling you, y'all think it, you when you are an, an op for it with a narcissist, you're an op for the rest of your life. You don't just they don't just you don't just stop being an op. What I mean by op, you don't you don't stop being opposition to a narcissist. I wish I could respond to what you're saying quick enough. In tears here laughing. There he is. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about though? That's literally the mindset right there, yeah. I'm telling you. That's a hundred percent the mindset right there when you're dealing with somebody like that. Like, you're going to be an enemy for the rest of their lives, for the rest of your life. I'm telling you, it, it does not end when that baby turned eighteen. When that, uh, we we did it. Eighteen years old, yay. Nope. That would be arguing about do, who, whose house you gonna have Thanksgiving at? Oh my goodness. Do you feel love for animals? Yes, I'm not a psychopath, y'all. So, my narcissist's husband started to sleep in his office for over a year now. He doesn't want to get the divorce. Why? Because he probably, he told you, this is the part where he probably already got somebody else lined up and he's sleeping in his office. He's sleeping in his office, just trying to get in, working on himself, getting himself together. And he doesn't want you to move on. So, he, he still, he considers you property. So they'll they'll in there and and by not divorcing you with his new person, it, it allows him to be non non committal to the next person. Hey, look, my ex wife won't divorce me. You know, she just will not divorce me ever. Like I don't know what to do. So now the new supply hates you too because you won't divorce. You won't divorce their their soon to be husband so that they can't get married because you're jealous of them. So now you have an enemy. See how that goes right there. Do, 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 do. Somebody said, please explain being opposition for the rest of your life. If you discard a narcissist, they're not going to like you for the rest of your life. You're an enemy. You're an op. You're an opposition. You are an enemy, an enemy combatant. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I'm divorcing my husband after 10 years. Be safe. I know that's tough. Daughter just discarded and ghosted after ugly breakup a month ago. Pick still on narcissist social media. Why hasn't he removed them? Any suggestions? This is this is his way of showing that he's still in love with your daughter. So if she goes over there and sees it, oh, he still loves me. He still cares about me. Or her friends see it. It's like, hey, your picture's still up on that page. Tell him. And it's a way to get you to reach. It's a way to get you to reach out to him. Get her to reach out to him. To ask ask him to take him to take those pictures down. So you have to reach out to him to take the pictures down. Hey, can you take the picture down? If you sit, if you sit down and talk to me, if you you ghost to me, if you sit down and have a conversation like an adult, I'll take the picture down right now. Just meet me at the coffee shop. Click. Got you. It's a way to hoover you back in. Don't let them outsmart you. How do you handle dating as a narcissist? So I don't, so I'm married right now, and so I don't have to worry about dating. But if I was single, I would just date like I normally date. Yo, the internet is easy. I can you know I don't have to like go out there and meet people. I can just do it from my. I can log on to Tinder right here from my computer and be swiping while I'm talking to y'all. You know what I mean? It's easy. It's simple. It's simplicity. Every, I feel like y'all think everybody in the world knows, knows I'm a narcissist. Everybody doesn't. I have <laughs> you know everybody doesn't know I'm a narcissist. I can meet people now. And get them to fall in love with me. And then later on, like, oh, yeah, I do have a, a large following on social media for mental health. I would tell them up front, like, I have a large social media following about, about mental health and you know, therapy and stuff like that. 
Oh, really? That's that's very interesting. You you take care of your mental health? Yeah, I'm just a big I'm a big proponent of men working on their mental health and stuff like that because you know I've had my own issues. My family, you know, my family has have issues of you know of you know un- people you know committing un- unalive themselves and things like that. So I had to stop. I had to put a stop to that so it doesn't pass on to my kids. I try to be, I try to be good. I try to be good. Oh, that's so good. Got you. You lose because now I got you. Now I'm on your mind. Now you now you thinking like, oh, a man that's comfortable with his emotional state. A man that works on himself, a man that's, that's comfortable with his emotions, got you. <clears throat> it's easy. Y'all even make it sound like it's hard. How do you break a trauma bond? By doing something for yourself. Haley, you got to give more back to yourself because you, you the traumatic experiences come because you kept going back to a person because you were addicted to them. You have to break the addiction. Get addicted to something else. Yourself. Self-love. You lost a lot of self-love while you're in a toxic relationship. You know what I mean? I sent you a DM. Please read it. Uh, you got to send it again. Shoot it to me again so it's at the top of my uh, thing. I definitely try to catch you. I can tell. I'm, I, I I definitely try to catch to try to catch you. I can tell. You can tell what? That I'm a narcissist? I guess it's because you know. <laughs> Y'all can look at my profile and see it. You're just like, oh, he's a narcissist. Cool. Mm-mm-mm. Do they tend to run when they get someone to fall in love with them? No. Sometimes they just go and hammer away at you until they get you. To get you married, <clears throat> married and then pregnant. And anyway, how does being in being a narcissist work with your relationship? I mean, just I work on myself. How does your wife handle you? How do I handle her? She's the emotional person. I'm just a cool, calm, and collected. This is my state right here, y'all. I'm just like this all the time. <laughs> Do you like other narcissists? Yeah, a lot of my friends are actually narcissists. Some some diagnosed and some self aware and some just unaware, just terrible people. Like dear God, the unaware ones are the worst ones. Some narcissists are non committal. Yes, yes, but does she trust you? Yeah, why wouldn't she trust me? I'm chilling. Mm mm. I love when you say clapping cheeks. It cracks me up. Yeah, because clapping cheeks is you know it's universal. Mm mm. Wow, shaking my hand. Why are you shaking your head at? Do you think some narcs are actually delu- delusional? Uh, most narcissists are delusional. <laughs> most of them are delusional. Not some. Most. Most are. Mm-mm. Do you do narcissists tend to down relate to animals? Everybody, everybody's gonna be different on that thing, right there, y'all. You like being friends with terrible people? No, I'm not. I'm not super close to those people no more. I don't. So I like. I'm. I would still consider myself friends with them, but I don't associate with them no more. Cause I, I, I have terrible narcissistic friends, y'all. The most, the, the the unaware ones. They'd be trying to just be terrible parents and just be, you know, dating young girls and stuff. It's just weird, you know. Thirty some years old dating nineteen, twenty year olds because they don't know they don't know better in life. It's it's weird, y'all. Mm mm mm. Do you not feel? Do you not want? feel or grow yeah i'm feeling and growing now what are you talking about if this is not ascension to you i don't know what it is <laughs> he's quiet now but a narc seek revenge if you leave them yes i'm not saying he will but i would i'm gonna get you sooner or later if you break with me and break my heart i'm going to remember that and sooner or later i'm going to get you back some way shape or form not physical not physical violence i don't do that so some way shape or form i'll get you If you shoot down the Hoover, does that end it, or can I expect another reach out? Uh, it really just depends. If they hammer, if they hammer away at you, and then they get you, like y'all be don't uh, y'all. If y'all fall for multiple Hoovers, like they're gonna get you. Like sometimes some I mean, some people, like honestly, you gotta be honest with yourself. Some people want to be Hoover. Y'all want to be Hoover back into the relationship because you you think you think being Hoover means that you meant something to that person. You know, sometimes they Hoover you back in just so they can break your heart. So they can be the one to discard you. You broke up. I broke up with you. Gotcha. Mm-mm. I broke the trauma bond. Now I'm invincible. Mm-hmm. Don't don't yeah. Keep your cape. Keep your superhero cape on. But don't 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 get too cocky. Don't go don't go to your next date. Uh. Don't go to your don't, don't pop up don't pop up on your next date like this. Like I broke the trauma bond, so I'm invincible now. You gonna go to your next date like this? Hey. I broke my trauma bond, and I brought this with me too. I brought a red flag just in case, because every time every time you say something narcissistic to me, I'm gonna wave this, and I'm gonna get it to leave. <laughs>
Don't get too confident, y'all. <clears throat> Stay humble. <laughs> Glasses ready, y'all. This is my little. This is my little office right here. It's a. It's a mess right here right now, but this is my little setup down here. Why is this new girlfriend dressing up and acting like me, having my hobbies? It started when she was with us as a colleague. I told him, and he said, because you talk a lot about yourself. No, it's because she competing with you and trying to replace you in his life completely. That's why. So I got no reason to go back. Didn't go, then don't go back, type of thing. You got no reason to go back. Then don't go back. Sometimes they don't hoover, but you will be forever in their circle of people they can turn their back on. Yeah. I'm telling you, they don't like once. I'm telling you, yeah, the replacement. Yeah, they trying to they they trying to replace you in their, in the, in the life completely, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. They really are. They're trying to replace you completely. I don't plan to. Good. Why did my ex threaten to unalive himself when I told him I was pregnant, but he also had another girlfriend when all this went down? <clears throat> I don't know. People just. You know, uh, I don't want to be here anymore. But I'm about to have a baby by you. And I got another girl too. Emotional man manipulation probably wants you to go ahead and uh, go to Planned Parenthood. I love your videos. You always spit straight facts. I try to. He made me look like a monster to everyone I know. Reactive abuse is real. Calm yourself down. You know, why are they so concerned about you cheating when they treat you like trash because they don't they, they think they own you you they treat you like trash but you are their trash you know the narcissist says our relationship didn't count why i don't i don't even know what that means well you like you, you he didn't want to add to his body count i'm confused you know emotional manipulation just like <laughs> I can't, I'm not ready to be a father. Blah, blah, and start throwing up. I'm going to have having a heart attack. Uh, 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 uh. His new girlfriend looks like me and he even has the same name. Weird. He has a type. He definitely has a type. <laughs> Why does silent treatment all the time? Silence is power. Take away the voice. Yeah, take away the voice. Take away the voice. Nia, <laughs> this skit would be done. We're gonna do it either tomorrow or Sunday. I haven't figured out how to how to shoot it. <clears throat> and plus, I'm still coughing too. <laughs> Am I the toxic one for feeling like I was mercil mercilessly fault finded and catas catas oh, You do some big words. I can't even read. For minor infractions, I've been racking my brain for months wondering if I'm a narcissist. Uh, did he blame you for a lot of stuff? I can't even read that tonight, y'all. I got brain fog. Y'all know, know I'm just getting over uh, getting over COVID. I have brain fog. My brain goes, you know. New girlfriend terrorized us for 12 months. How? So, the new girlfriend terrorized us for 12 months. How, look, th th this is what blows my mind. How pathetic do you have to be to meet a new person and then go on a, terror, a, a, a campaign of terrorizing the old, the ex? How pathetic and desperate do you have to be to do that? You mean to go out your way to prove that you won that prize. Hey, I got your man, girl. I got your man. And I'm going to treat you like shit, too. What the hell? How stupid do you look doing that? That's so damn pathetic. You mean? That's so pathetic, y'all. Like, it's insanely pathetic. Like, to be, a, just a, to be a blind, flying monkey bat is just ridiculous to me. He told me he never loved me and wasn't attracted to me, but we sure had a lot of sex. Yeah. There, that's how it goes sometimes. To be a blind, stupid ass flying monkey bat is just so embarrassing to your life. It really is. Just like to blindly support somebody like my ex treated me so terribly. Can you call her and talk some junk to her? I I don't even I don't even know her. I don't just do it. If you love me, you do it. I've been knowing you for a week. If you love me, you'll do it. Okay, let me. Call, I'll call her. I'll call her. Hey, this is X. You are horrid for treating him so bad. This is my man now. We're going to be doing it right now. He's about to clap my cheeks. How pathetic is that, y'all? Like, literally. How pathetic is that? <laughs> a flying monkey bat, yes. This is a serious issue, but you're acting to crack me up. <laughs> it's just because that's how I imagine it being. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
new girlfriend found me and stalked me because she begged him to cut me off. How pathetic is that? I left him and didn't know she existed. He broke up with her for asking him to cut me off. That is so weird right there. That is so weird. That is so weird. And Tiara, did you send me an email about, about being on a podcast or something like that? I think I saw that come through today. I'll, I'll respond to you tonight. Hey, we're t- we're together right now. We've been together for two weeks. Please cut your ex off, please. Uh, how pathetic is that, y'all? Like, seriously. Dear Lord. Like, y'all know narcissists be laughing at stuff like that, too, don't you? They, they know that's pathetic. They're like, damn, you weak-minded. I got you. I got you right there on my little thing. And they'll torture you for the rest of your life. Because if you're doing stupid stuff like that from the beginning, you mean, if you're doing stupid stuff like that from the beginning, they know they have you. They have you right there on their little finger. Yeah. Why do they still keep in touch with their exes? Because, you know, going back is easier than going forward sometimes. A lot of times they think enough time has went by. They'll, they'll, treat, the, they'll treat the new supply good sometimes just so the old supply will think that they've changed. Yeah, it's just like, I'm treating this new girl good. Maybe my ex is going to look and see I'm treating her good and take me back. You know, like a, like some sinister stuff. The new supply is exactly like that. I'm telling you, look how ridiculous that sounds. Like, I'm just, I'm literally overacting and acting stupid. And y'all resonate with that. I love your vids, fam. Appreciate that, King Kunta. <clears throat> Appreciate that. But that's how it goes, y'all. For it, it seriously is like that, y'all. Never because, but do they change? No, they change temporarily. Yeah, they change temporarily at the beginning of a new relationship because that's just not a narcissist. Everybody's going to put their best foot forward in a relationship. They just are. You know, in your first few dates, you're not going to wear no holy ass boxers or no, you know, those no dingy ass thong or underwear. Your first date, you know, you're going to put your, you're going to put in your Sunday best. You're going to put on your, your lemon pepper steppers, your one inch heels. You know what I mean? You're going to do all that stuff. You're going to put your best foot forward. You're not going to go in there and tell them, like, hey, look, my name's Lee, and I cheat a lot. <laughs> my name's Lee, and my toxic trait is <laughs> I love too much. What the hell? TM Lee, what's going on? How you doing? My name's Lee, and my toxic trait is I'm too loving, and I cry a lot. Yeah, I believe that. Thank you, in psychology degree. Where's the baby? Upstairs. Whatever, mama. Yeah, I might have to hop over here in a second, dog. I got a uh, <laughs> lemon pepper stuff. I got to do a one-on-one here in a second, y'all. Uh, yeah, like literally in one minute, I had to hop over here and do this one-on-one. Um, but yeah, I'm going live. So I'll be going live here again pretty soon, y'all. What a lemon pepper. <laughs> you got to look that up. Um, I'm be going live on... Tomorrow night is YouTube night, y'all. So I'm going live on YouTube. You know what I mean? So YouTube, ch- check out the YouTube channel and whatnot. So I'm going live on YouTube tomorrow. I need to. Um, I'm gonna have some some guests on there too, y'all. Some real guests on there and stuff like that too. Drake crying about Rihanna. <laughs> did he? You know what I mean? Did, did did Drake cry about Rihanna? Yeah. Haley, appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, how do we do that one on one? There's a link in my bio, y'all. Check out check out the link in my bio. I'm about to uh, work on my website and stuff like that too. So y'all enjoy. I really appreciate y'all. Um, tomorrow, what's tomorrow? Saturday. I'll probably be live. It might go in the, it, be, it might be in the morning. I'll, I'll put a notice out, y'all. Anyway, y'all, thank you, uh, Virginia. I appreciate y'all. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Um, I'm a, if y'all missed this, I'm gonna post it. Uh, thank you, Amber. Uh, I'm gonna post this on YouTube so y'all can check it out on YouTube as well. So, YouTube channel is Mental Illness. The link is in the bio for that as well. Thank y'all for tuning in. I really appreciate y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mental Illness is out. Peace now. Thank you.